Hi, this is a talk to inspire people who are narc abuse escapees and are now piecing their lives back together again because their lives and their childhood were greatly misinformed. They were treated like shit and now they realize what they've been through. So there's a couple of things to keep in mind and it helps to do some mind effery to yourself in order to get through not only the, the trouble of having been abused by your mother or father and then choosing partners who mirrored that so that you would finally get it. There's something to be said about Pollyanna thinking and the fanta fantasy mind. It saved my life. The brain has to protect itself. So I will talk a little bit about brains. So first of all, consider you chose to be here. Earth is a place for ascending masters. What d didn't destroy you is supposed to make you stronger, but first you have to recover. So that's a bunch of baloney. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Don't you want to punch those people in the face? I do. That you are even here and haven't killed yourself, number one. Yay, it's a miracle that you didn't become a complete drug addict and, and ruin your life even more. Wow, it's a complete miracle. If you were denigrated your entire childhood, poo-pooed, told you weren't important, misdirected from your talents, and continually chose partners who did the same thing-ish, and you're still here? You look a cat. You got more than nine lives, most likely. You know, my, my pen name is Cat Whitland. Kathleen means pure. I'm pure hearted. And I don't bullshit. This little thing right here, that mark, that's from impact to the face. I've had blows to the head. I've almost died. And my brain is coming back on board. And every now and then I get a little bit anxious and antsy and upset at the world for being as messed up as it is. And that's what I'm going to tell you. Earth has been hijacked. Yes. If you haven't already figured that out, narcissism is never going to be normalized. It is not normal. I wish that they would uh, destruct themselves and leave us good people alone. But we're the ones that have to recognize them and get out of their way. Think of them as venomous snakes. Don't agitate the snake get away from the snake but first you have to know there are snakes there are snakes everywhere including therapists can be snakes if you're a narcissistic abuse survivor and you choose the wrong therapist you could make your symptoms worse it's better to go on youtube and check out the little shaman it's better to go on my playlist and look at things i've done uh survivors of childhood abuse Raised by a narcissistic mother, the narc male, brainstorming. Look at my playlist. Find something. Listen to it. Okay. Now, forgiveness has been weaponized. Forgive and forget. Oh, that's a sl favorite, favorite mantra of, of shrinks. No, I will not forgive. I've done ho ho pono opono. If you don't know what that is, don't worry about it. It doesn't work. You want to know what works? Working on yourself. I forgive myself for, for loving those idiots beyond their lovability. I forgive myself for being an innocent, loving child and naive and not realizing the snakes in the grass and everywhere else. Shadow work? Shadow work. Ah, you know what the shadow work is? Not the ugly person, but the person who's actually wonderful and talented and gifted. But do you think that person is going to be able to come out into this world now and be what it is? I don't know. See my artwork? See my portals of infinity to my own divinity? They're for me. Do you think anybody's going to see those and go, wow, I'll pay you five grand for one of those. I'll pay you a thousand dollars for one of those. Do you think anybody's going to? No, of course not. Well, they're not for sale for one thing. For another, they're portals of infinity to my divinity. Okay, so what I found out about the brain. <laughs> oh, man. 
It's here somewhere. Okay. <clears throat> now, different parts of the brain do different things. The frontal cortex here, it's the executive. When you drink too much, the frontal lobe is affected. And so the executive leaves the building. Inhibitions go bye-bye. That's what happens. You lose your reasoning skills. But what happens when you're under stress all the time? Because with you're with a narc or you have a narc parent. Number one, if you have a narc parent, you have more cortisol that is released more often. And you don't have the ability to absorb stress as well. So things stress you out more often than not. So we're living in a weaponized society with EMF towers everywhere, constantly trying to stress out your system. You have to do things like yoga, breathing, three-part breath, pranayama, go into the woods, go to a park, look at green, listen to uh, music on headphones that is the kind that helps your brain develop, salvagio harmonics, things like that. <clears throat> and meanwhile, wep music has been weaponized. It's at 440 rather than 432. Look it up. Music, weaponization, 440 versus 432. I'm not going to explain. Um, so here we go. The frontal lobe, th this is like, they call it the monkey mind. It's been hacked. That's what we have. Blah, 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 all the time. Why do you think people drink so much or do drugs? They're trying to shut it up. They're trying to shut it up. Uh, I, I, it's like, you know, I'm not advocating drugs, okay? And I've tried certain kinds, and, and I just don't like them. But I do like the, the fungus, okay? It's a fungi, the fungus. That's as far as I'm going to go with it. Um, so the lizard brain is back in here, and what happens is when you are in that fight and flight response, if you're constantly getting yelled at as a child, that is where you go, and it's fight, flies, freeze, and fawn. Fight, flight, freeze, or fawn. Fight, flight, freeze, or fawn. And I became the fawner. I fawned. I gave compliments. When I was married, I was always mollifying the damn fucking asshole. Excuse me. The prick. Oh, uh, the narcissist. Male. And I had a garden variety. Always, I had always be, no, I'm not flirting with that guy. No, not everybody in the room's looking at you. <clears throat> uh, you really aren't everything to me. I have to have other people besides you. It doesn't make me a bad person for needing friends. It doesn't make you a bad person for not being able to be everything. You're not the be all end all. And when I divorced him, I thought life would be great, but I went on to marry another narcissist. Oh yeah, the grandiose. And because he loved bombed me, he loved me because I was a mother. My children's father degraded me because I was a mother. He told me I, w I was a burden that he wished he could stay home all day and do nothing. Yeah. So it's been really hard this life. And oh, as an aside, <clears throat> During 2020, 2021, blah, 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 I was like, who cares if I die? Life's hard enough. Why are people so afraid of dying? Why are they so afraid of dying? And who says you're going to die? It's a lie. At least I could see through it because of my narcissistic abusive mother. I started realizing I could be the only one I can trust. Now, you'll hear from people who have been narcissistically abused. They no longer can trust themselves. Oh, I can trust myself. All right. I now I couldn't trust myself then to pick a partner that wasn't a narcissist because we didn't have the lingo. I didn't know what a snake looked like. I didn't know what a venomous snake looked like. I did not know their tricks that they used. I didn't. So those words are all there. They're all in vocabulary. If you get if you get duped by a narcissist now, it's irresponsible on your part. Educate yourself. <clears throat> so there's more to it than. What I just told you, there's the olfactory lobe and the corpus callosum and the pituitary body, the pons viroli, the cerebellum, the temporal lobe, the occipital lobe, the parietal lobe, the frontal lobe. With the, the brain is the basically a mass of ner nervous tissue that fills the cranium cavity. And it is the chief center of the nervous system as well as 
We also have a spinal column. That stuff gets fucked with too. So you have to do supplements. I'm not a doctor. This is not medical advice. NAC, you have to work to get that stuff out of your body. You also have to give yourself your own mind effery, which is positive affirmations all the time. I am a child of God. I am beautiful. I am whole. I've done spiritual kutsugi. I have been broken. I've mended myself. I am talented. I am capable of, of making a living. I am uh, likable. I am funny. I make silly YouTube videos. I have a good time. I'm really good at po being a Pollyanna. I'm really wonderful at putting on a brave face. I'm a cat. I'm a survivor. I can kick ass. <laughs> <clears throat> all right. Um, you know, when you're under all that stress in that relationship with a narc, your, your brain actually shrinks. Uh, <laughs> the, the good decision making uh, shrinks. It's terrible. And then you have, that's why a lot of people, if you stay with a narcissist too long who negates you and your brain goes through too much of a shrinkage, Dementia is in your future. I am not giving you black magic. You can reject this. I'm not a doctor. This is not medical advice. But your your brain is really important. So you better learn how to relax it. Um, you got to know your mind. And your mind is ultimately what frees you. And it, yet it was paradoxically the very thing that ensnared you. Um... Cognitive dissonance is a very real thing. You, it's just too much for the brain to handle, so they just can't believe it. Because it results, again, in shrinkage of the frontal cortex, which is the executive, which makes decisions. The will center is affected by the brain. And there is free will in the universe. And there is free will on this planet. We are in a free will universe. But the will is manipulated by parents who say, look at me. Come here, do what I tell you, obey, obey, obey. Those asshole of parents, the worthless people who shouldn't even be parents, those narcissist types, they just keep living because they are too afraid to die because they're going to have to face the music. I think we all go through a, um, a review. I don't know. I just... Uh, I just hope I, I can make enough money to keep living. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, we need money in this planet. And um, if you're a child of a narcissist and then you've had narcissistic partners and you signed crazy paperwork and gave everything to them but for the basics so that you could get get away. Um, I'm, t I'm talking I have nothing. <laughs> but, but my body and uh, my... Um, Good sense of humor and um, possibly the ability to help others, you know. So we'll see what happens with that. <clears throat> well, things I put down here. Okay. As a child, I, I you know, and now I'm rewriting uh, the history, not by changing the facts, but by changing the perspective. I now know my mother was Ombo, a mighty big one, and she was a complete idiot and stupid to boot, a bombastic nincompoop. And she was creative and fun, so what? But uh, I made the most of it. And, okay. <clears throat> Treat yourself the way you want to be treated in the world. All right? Learn to send, send, set boundaries and enforce them. And do not consent to violations of any kind. If you were raised to honor your parents, stop it. And turning the other cheek as a Christian, stupid, stop it. The Ombo has taught you a bunch of bull crap to make their lives easy and yours difficult. <clears throat> you must unlearn everything they taught you in order to have a happy life. Um, you are not to be criticized unquestioningly. They criticized you constantly. They called it constructive criticism. They told you to, to grow a thicker skin when you cried. They told you not to be too dis, too sensitive when you were like a blubbering um, pile of tears because of all the things that they said to you about you that you couldn't change because you're a child. 
You could be called names and told it shouldn't bother you. You were told you weren't as good as them, pretty as them, smart as them. And what made you think you deserved whatever, X, Y, and Z? I got to hate Christmas. I didn't want to, any presents I then had to be thankful for that I didn't want. Um, if something good happened to you, it was because someone felt sorry for you or that you were lucky, right? That's how my mother treated me. You were so lucky rather than you're an amazing person, Kathleen. Look what you've accomplished. Never. Not allowed to express myself. When I did, I was criticized. Not allowed to feel proud of myself. Get down off your high horse. Take that chip off your shoulder. That's all the stuff you got to rewrite, people. If you had a mother like that. Um, not allowed to have self-confidence. Who do you think you are, she would ask. What makes you think you're so special, she would ask. And then I had to, again, mollify people, make sure they were all happy because there were other people in the world, Kathleen. What makes you think you're the center? I have to unlearn so much. <laughs> it's, it's what's allowed me, though, to realize, forgive and forget, uh-uh. I forgive myself. For being so loving to undeserving buffoons. And I don't forget what happened. That way I can put it back together again properly with the right stories and with the right truth to it, which is that woman was undeserving of such a fine daughter as myself, who continue to love her because it was conditioned like a Pavlov's dog would drool when they heard the bell go off. <laughs> oh my god so not everything's light airy and fairy the new age is a, the new cage the concept is one of essentially gaslighting you can't go poof I'm all better my, my pain of childhood is gone no you actually have to realize who you are with your real eyes you are not the Ombo, the almighty big one. Uh, let's see what, okay, we're not all one. The narcissists are in a camp of their own. That's bull crap, that's new cage. You look at somebody and go, oh, what part of me could act like that? Nope, that never got me anywhere. Nope, I, I reject Ombos, almighty big ones. I reject narcissists. I reject these terrible entities that are demonically possessing people. They're not me. I reject them. They exist, but not inside of me. And I don't even relate to them. They're not relatable and they're not likable. Yeah. So for us to take responsibility for that is being narcissistically abused. I'm no longer sending light to these entities. I say, poof, you don't exist. Go to entropy. I learned this from a woman. I'll teach you about her later by sending you direct links. But I set a boundary on all of this. I had a malicious and cruel gaslighting mother. I chose to be in the light. What made her turn into what she is? And what made my sisters turn into what they are? We had the same backstory. Similarly, one of us was the golden child, not me. I was three fractions of a second slower than my sister. So therefore, when she graduated, I was told by my mother I had to work because I wasn't to be a burden on the family. She used coercion to get the fastest female track star in my school and in the, my class of students could have gone on a scholarship with my skill set, voted most creative, most life lo loving, and most athletic. Three things by my high school peers. Me voted most life loving, most creative, and most athletic. Was coerced by my ombo to leave high school early so that I wouldn't be a burden to the family and cost money. Like my sister, the golden child went to West Point. 
and she didn't turn out so great. She looks like a cow. Move over, bitch. Your little sister's coming, and she's going to run right past your ass with a life I've made of my own. Vengeance and winning is not my goal. You know what my goal is? To get my brain set on straight, to align myself with the divine and be the person I'm supposed to be. Not the, the good for nothing, simplistic, uh, overly sensitive um, brat my mother told me I was. And I kept marrying these jerk offs, not knowing what a snake in the grass looked like. Learn about narcissists. Go onto my playlist, The Narc Male. I don't know what a female narcissist looked like other than my mother, but I'll tell you one thing, and they're all the same. None of them can have a good and give and take conversation. None of them can listen to you. All of them want to tell you all about who you are and what you, they think of you as if it's your privilege to hear them pontificate. They're all the same in that regard. It's the dead giveaway. So leave these mofos and jerk offs forever. Let them blow up their own planet like the asteroid belt. That's my theory. That's where all the narcissists came from. But I am going to do my breathing exercises. I'm going to get out into nature. I'm going to keep playing Pollyanna and do the glad game and keep working on my skill set so that I can offer something to somebody someday, meaning people who pay me money to help them get through their shut. Because I love life. And I think living is a whole, whole, whole lot harder than dying. And I'm not going to die until it's my time to die. Period. So lots of love to all of you alls. Especially those who have had these horrific ombos. Oh, mighty big ones. Who weren't anything other than bombastic, pendactic brats. People of the lie. And everything they said to you was a lie. Keep that in, your, in mind and reframe everything and give yourself positive self-talk.